welcome back to GSBA TV. I'm Denise Santos, and today we have with us David Little, Executive Director of the Rural Schools Association of New York State. Thank you for joining us today. You bet. So you're about to speak, actually. You're one of our speakers at 1.30 later today. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're going to be talking about to our conference attendees? Yeah, the Georgia School Boards Association has asked me to come down uh, to help do a task force of rural school issues for Georgia. And so this afternoon, we're going to be facilitating a discussion of the concerns, challenges, resources um, and issues facing the rural schools in Georgia. Now are there any resources available, uh, any topics that you might be able to share with our viewers um, regarding rural school districts? Sure. It's a little difficult when you come from a couple thousand miles away to try and figure out whether the things that I know from New York State are similar to the things in Georgia. Many things are different. Um, for one, you have countywide school districts and you have rural schools within your county district every one of our rural school districts is their own entity. Okay. And so they each have very different challenges. We have 320 rural school districts in New York State. And so we'll try and extrapolate the things that, that are challenging to them. Um, money is challenging for both, uh, both New York and Georgia. That's obviously at the top of the list, trying to get financial resources, but also structure, uh, building community resources and connections between the community and the school has been a key to rural success. Trying to change the expectations of rural students so that they expect to go on and do other things, even if they're coming back to the community. And unfortunately, in New York, we lose an awful lot of our uh, rural students. They go elsewhere because during the Great Recession, we lost hundreds of thousands of residents out of rural New York State. And so the jobs aren't there, the population isn't there. And so we're trying to prevent that from happening in Georgia. And the Georgia School Boards Association will take the information that they learned today and build this task force. The Board of Directors is going to appoint representatives from each of those rural areas. And then that, that group will work together for the next few months over a series of challenges. And then we'll present policy recommendations to the state leaders of Georgia, uh, both at the legislative side, the regulatory side, and try and get them to focus not only how, how valuable rural Georgia is, but also their failure to address these issues has consequences for the rest of the state, either in a positive or a negative way, depending upon whether or not they're successful in their approach. We want to provide them an answer. One of the, one of the best things that, um, that I learned doing years of work in the state legislature in New York is you never go to a legislator or a state leader with a problem unless you've got a suggestion for an answer. Mm. Don't expect that they'll be creative enough to come up with something on their own because they frequently don't come up with the most logical or the best approach. So we want to be able to spoon feed to them, here's what's wrong, here's why it's wrong, and here's what we need to do about it. Just very sequential approach. So that's what we're trying to do this afternoon. Now, are there any resources, any links or websites available that our viewers, educators uh, could visit, uh, possibly to find out more information about it? Well, there are two. First, I'll be parochial and have them go to my website. Okay. It's rsany.org, okay. uh, Rural Schools Association of New York State, just if you Google it. Um, we've got resources there. Part of our association is also affiliated as the Rural Schools Program with Cornell University. So we have an awful lot of research uh, behind us that we can disseminate it out to all districts, not just the districts in New York State. And so that should be helpful. And the other that I would say is there's a, a great leader, uh, Dr. Alan Pratt, who's at the University of Tennessee at the National Rural Education Association. That's the National Association for Rural School Associations. And uh, Dr. Pratt has phenomenal resources and information, particularly on the federal side, where, uh, where local districts can get federal money, which federal programs apply to us, um, and which are the most accessible. Thank you, David, so much for sure. sharing all your information. Happy to help. Thank you for joining us.